So uh, here we have the GamePad 2. Arcos has improved the buttons. Now you have a button that, that's like one flat surface over here. Better buttons, better controls over here. 500 milliamp battery. Five, uh, did I say 500? 5,000 milliamp battery in here. Uh, it's a rock chip quad core. And uh, let's, let's launch a game. Let's see here. I can, I can, I can connect uh, to the HDMI with a mini HDMI. I can play on the TV. So it's a home console. It's a pre. It's it's a better than Exynos 4 CPU. It's a 3188, 28 nanometer, high K metal gate, and I can switch to another game if I want. Let's go in asphalt. And uh, I guess, it's, is it like this? How do I speed up? Oh, I should maybe prepare. Okay. They're speeding up. It's a, it's a mirroring the screen. And I can just pull it off. I can continue playing here. A very loud sound. I can try to crash into walls and all this is for free. And then I go back to my home menu. I have a really good IPS 1280 by 800 screen. Uh, you can use it as a Skype phone, I guess. Well, you can do that with any tablet. But uh, the grip is good, the design is good, the screen is good. I think the price is 179, isn't it? It's 179 USD. So maybe 149 euro, but probably not. 179 euro, something like that. Uh, you can have a whole bunch of other games. This is the Game Zone, which is a Google's game hub kind of thing. And uh, so the future of gaming is Android. There's no question about it. It's not even up for discussion. And the simple reason is Android is open source, it's free. And Arcos is really good at using it. This is an Arcos design. Uh, this is a micro SD. You can add 64 or 32. It's 32, no? Maximum. Or is it 64? It might be 64, no? 64 is supported, so you can have a huge amount of uh, ROMs from your emulator if you want to play this Nintendo 64, Dreamcast, PlayStation, PSP, PlayStation 1, maybe not PlayStation 2, I'm not sure, but whatever emulator works on the Rockchip 3188. So, high quality, pretty decent. So you have also the, as a 299, the NVIDIA, but this is a bigger screen and a uh, pretty decent GPU is better than the Galaxy S3 uh, performance. So it's not a Galaxy S4 quite, but uh, maybe it's actually not far from a Galaxy S4, uh, except when you have the Exynos 5 Galaxy S4. So now I just need some time so I can play all my Nintendo 64 games, play them again, because I tried last year, but I didn't. I was just like, you know, let's play some games. I'm not a gamer, but I'd like to try to become one because, you know, why not? All right, so thanks for watching this.